What's going on, bro? I ain't gonna lie, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I know you wonder why I don't got a shirt right now, but look, look, bro, I'm feeling sexy. But now, seriously, I'm about to put a shirt on and ready to get into this video. I know you see the title, it's gonna be epic, bro. Stay tuned. All right, so look, I know you guys are wondering why I always wear my do rag. So today in this video, we're gonna be doing the official wave, wave check. <laughs> we're gonna do a wave check in this video, so. Let me get some water shit. My throat is dry. I didn't cut this out either. Look, today we're going to be talking about an interesting topic. So look, I know usually my videos are usually fun and you know, they're entertaining. They talk about a lot of topics, but today I want to get serious. Um, Yeah, I just want to get serious. So today we'll be talking about self-esteem. Now, I'll open up a little bit about like my personal struggle with self-esteem, like me, growing up, um, wasn't the easiest. I'm just keep it a buck. Growing up, for me, was just, it was tough. I'm not going, I don't want to try to, like, you know, be feel bad for me or whatever, you know. It's life. But, you know, you know, you know, a kid got bullied. I know it's hard to believe. But, yeah, you know, I got bullied a couple times. Well, I don't really say a couple times. I got, I, I think the first time I was bullied was... I felt at the time I was like maybe seven or eight. That's like the earliest I can remember. And it was like this kid in my backyard who used to always mess with me. And uh, I never used to fight back. But um, eventually it got to the point where I was like, yo, if they if they see me not fighting back, they're gonna keep going. So I'm like, okay. So I think one day I just snapped. Once he, he attacked me and I attacked him right back. So, but it didn't stop there at all. Like, I went through bullying through, you know, fourth grade to middle school to high school. And, man, like, <laughs> whew. The reason I wanted to connect that to self-esteem is that I feel that, you know, a lot of people that go through bullying, it affects their self-esteem, understandably, because it's just like, you know, when you're bullied, if you've ever been through bullying or, you know, you've ever been, you know, teased a lot as a kid, it plays in your mind. You know, we can say all day that we're, you know, we don't care or, or you know, where it's sticks and stones won't break my bones. But them words could really, you know, and honestly, I'm not going to lie. Like, self-esteem is something I've had to learn to build. And it's definitely a process. And it's definitely something that I'm constantly working at and constantly building and developing uh you know i think for me my biggest you know self-esteem issue was growing up it was like i always felt ugly like that was like my biggest insecurity like because you know you know growing up like you know i never really had all the girls you know i was always like i was always like kind of shy you know what i mean and not to mention i just got picked on a lot so i never really felt you know attractive you know you know, I'm, by the way, I'm African. So when I was growing up through middle school, before being African was cool and, oh, melanin and all of this, before that whole everybody's hopping on, like, being dark-skinned and being African or whatever, back in the day, <laughs> bro, it was not cool to be dark-skinned. Like, I'm telling you, like, if you really my age, you felt that, like, going through middle school, like, being dark-skinned, you got called African booty scratcher. That was that's just the name I feel like comes across every dark skin person. Just, just you you get called a lot of names, and honestly, you start to feel bad about yourself. But you don't let it show, of course. But I'm not gonna lie, it it definitely when people tear you down like that, it makes you it makes you question yourself sometimes. When it gets to a point where it's so consistent, you know, um, you start thinking. Damn, like maybe I am an African booty scratcher or something. I don't know, you know. Maybe I am ugly, and um, it's about esteem. I think it goes back to self esteem because self esteem, I think, is a process for everybody, and I think that self esteem is built through self acceptance, and that that word is ve that term self acceptance is very is very vanilla. Because I feel like it just doesn't really, doesn't really encapsulate everything that that really means. Self acceptance is more than just accepting who you are. It's loving yourself. It's 
you know, understanding who you are on the inside. You know what I mean? And honestly, it's just, I think self-esteem really is something that we have to work on every day because it's important. It affects your mental health. Like, and honestly, yeah, like I've been through so much shit. Like I remember one time I was ninth grade and like I was playing on the basketball court. This is going to suck. So I was playing basketball on the court. And, uh, you know, I'm playing ball or whatever. And some dude just, like, pants, like, he pants me. Like, which basically, if you don't know what that means, he just took my pants. Like, he just <laughs> dropped my pants. And I, didn't, I happened to have no underwear that day. So I was embarrassed, of course, because dude saw I didn't have no underwear. And so the dude actually goes around and goes telling everybody, yo, Ape has no underpants. And then, like, to paint a picture, I'm on the court, right? And so I'm playing ball, and I'm thinking, like, yo, I'm thinking, like, yo, I'm so embarrassed. Like, I hope, like, nobody finds out, mind you, this guy is telling everybody. And so eventually this crowd forms around me, trying to pants me. And mind you, I was always a skinny kid, you know, a small kid growing up. So, like, it was very, very hard to defend myself. Like, I had to actively push people away because there was a bunch of people trying to pants me. And another fact that I forgot to mention, there was a lot of girls at this park. For some reason, this day, it was like a hot day. And there was a lot of girls in this park, by the way. So, remember that, right? So, I'm I'm playing ball and these this crowd gets around me. So I'm trying to separate from this guy. There was this this big beefy kid who used to always pick on me in middle school. And he happened to go to my high school. And he was like one of the main ones that was like, he was trying to pants me. And I was like, you know, trying to get away from him. I, I would start running. I would start, you know, pushing dudes away. People are like laughing, like people are laughing, thinking it's a joke. And then eventually I'm distracted for a second because like I said, I'm playing basketball. And the dude just pants me, and then mad people are laughing, like laughing. So I put my pants up, take my ball, you know, I leave the court, go home. And I remember for weeks after that, like everybody, every time I would see someone, it was like, shrimpy, shrimpy. Like, bro, I was so embarrassed. And yeah, this was, this was like ninth grade, so don't, don't feel bad for me, but you know, I was so embarrassed. And Man, like, that's like one of those, that happened to me in freshman year of high school. Like, when freshman year kind of just started. And honestly, man, like, it's something I'll never forget. And I remember just being humiliated. Like, people were making Facebook posts about it. People were constantly reminding me in school. I couldn't go to one class without people, you know, snickering at me. And uh, shit, it was tough. And I'm not gonna lie, it's, that's just one example of just many things that happened to me. That really broke my self esteem, I feel. And, um, uh, shit. Yeah, it broke my self esteem. And I think I grew up just insecure. Like, I think that caused me to make bad friends. You know, when you're, you have low self esteem, you take a lot of shit from people that you shouldn't because you want people's acceptance so bad. And I feel like, you know, I'm just thinking about all the times that, like, people were, like, messing with me and stuff. Like, I even had, like, teachers calling me names. Like, this one teacher in middle school called me a name because, basically, we were playing, we were on the court. And she, like, she she airballed a shot, I think. And I was, like, airball, right? And she said, bro, you, you, uh, you airball layups. Because at the time, I was really weak. So, sometimes I'd airball layups. She was, and she started, she was actually one, and she was a teacher, and she started calling me Airball Lave. And then that term just caught fire. And I swear to this day, like, people in my high school would literally still call me Airball Lave. And it's really crazy. It's like, damn, you know, like, everybody called me it. It's like, I mean, I kind of played it off. Like, I laughed along with it. But it was just like, dude, like, that shit wasn't funny. And, like, a lot of the things that happened in high school to me that, like, were, like, you know, people will mess with me. People to this day from my high school bring it up to me saying, oh, remember when this happened, you were embarrassed. Remember when this dude beat you up? Remember when, like, and it, they would just put it in my face over and over again, just reinforcing, you know, my high school. And I'm in college now. So, you know, nothing like that happens here. But, you know, it wasn't that long ago. 
at the same time. So I just want to say, I guess my point of this video was, you know, man. But yeah, so I think that building self-esteem is something that, you know, you get past high school and you develop. I think, you know, it's easy to feel like people are breaking down in middle school and high school. They can feel like really traps, but they're not like the whole world. Like there are people out there that will like you for you. You know what I mean? They will like all your weird quirks. Even even the things people in high school said you, you did that was lame. It's like there are people that think that you're cool for that, for doing that same thing and nothing changed. You're still the same person. It's just that people... Some people won't like you and some people will. And honestly, that's my message for today is just that, like, you know, find the people that like you for you. And I think that is one of, one pillar to building self-esteem. And, you know, I really had no plan for this video. This is really just an honest conversation. I just wanted to get on here and talk about it and really just, you know, express what I feel self-esteem really is. And well, what I think has helped me as well. So I just hope this helps anybody out there. Now we can get to the way from it. Yeah, man, I know y'all wondering like why I always have a do rag in all my videos and it's just cause bro, I have waves. Bro, I wanna show you, but it's like, like you gotta be in the mindset of a waver. Like when someone has good waves, the point of, when you have waves, you have to maintain it. You know what I mean? So I think it's finally time if you've, Stick with my channel by now. I think you, you deserve to see it. So I'm gonna show you guys my waves. Hopefully the lighting in here is great, but get ready. Get your surfboards ready. Get ready. Get your life vest ready because you are about to drown. But look, man, if you enjoyed that video and you want more of these, you know, let's talk videos, please let me know. You know, like the video if you really like these. I'm trying new things on this channel. Thank you for watching. I'm gone, man.